Hello all my share bearers. Today's video is a Shoppers Drug Mart haul. Um, it is that time of year when drug stars start to put out their Christmas collections and Shoppers is no exception. Uh, I actually went in there for Quo products in particular because their line has come out with a whole ton of stuff for Christmas. I did not pick up everything, but that's because uh, there was big box sets, which because I have had bad experiences with their bigger box sets, and I think it's because they try to give it to you at a decent price, the quality isn't as good. So, I did not get that. I also didn't get their brushes because I'm not particularly fond of the brush shape. Just me, I like my eye brushes fluffy and they don't have really a fluffy eye brush in their collections. So, without further ado, I will get into what I did get from the sets. So they had two eye and lip compacts. Um, these were okay. so these were sixteen dollars each. I got one of each of them. Um, this one is in hard as nails and. I'm actually wearing this one today. These are a cardboard box. They're not anything fancy, but it is pretty sturdy. It does have the mirror on top, but these are the colors. I'm actually wearing this on my eyes today. I love it. It blends so easily. Um, they're nicely pigmented, and each compact comes with the four eyeshadows plus a lip gloss. And this is just a nice raspberry colored lip gloss. I have not used this yet, but I probably will. I'm wearing something else from the collection on my lips. Also with the eyeshadows, you can create a look. These are um, satin more matte than satin but and the first color does not swatch very well because it is quite light it actually blends right in with my eyelid when I do it so the light one is right here it just doesn't show and then there's a brown and a light gray and then the black and the black looks like it has shimmer. It does not have shimmer in it. It's just a flat black. Um, it isn't as dark as my Makeup Geek, but it's dark enough. So, and that one was hard as nails. The next one is called boot camp and this is more neutral shades there was only two in the ones that came out so there's nothing too exciting about them but they are really good quality eyeshadows so so this is boot camp and this is more of your neutral warm shades but they are really nice and I have used this one as well and this one the base color does show up a bit more so the base color is here and it's more of a cream peachy cream color and then a nice brown that can be used in the crease and another crease color and then just your outer corner color this does a nice subtle look nothing it's something you could wear to work now without anybody going uh, what are you doing and then of course it has the lip gloss 
which is uh, another berry tone, but it's a warmer berry tone. Next item is a deluxe eye and face palette from Quo. And this is $15, and I have used this. <clears throat> this one is actually a plastic and it does have like a paisley design but it's just black there's no color whatsoever which it's okay I've got purple and I've got blue from that so in this you have a face powder a blush and then four eyeshadows and I use this the first day I got it and it lasted all day and it gave a nice natural look and this one has mattes as well as shimmer in it for the eye products and the blush does have a slight shimmer but it's nothing too overly dramatic. So it does have a slight shimmer but of course the face powder has nothing and it matches me so I don't know why I'm swatching it and it does not say names for the colors on here which is kind of sad but so here's the colors so this would be the one the first one at the top and then the second and then a nice rosy color dusty mauve color for the crease and a dark outer corner I actually used all four colors when I did my look so I used the lighter color this color under my brow bone I used this on the lid I used that in the crease and that in the outer corner I did use the blush too um, it lasted too these are nice and smooth and buttery and I like I like Quo did it again. I like their limited edition palette. But next, we have a set of four lipsticks. The four lipsticks are $30 for four, so less than $10 a piece. I'm actually wearing one of them on my lips today, and I've worn it actually a couple times, so I will not start with that one. So the first color is cream and it's just a neutral. Uh, it's more of a neutral than anything. It's got a slight peachy undertone to it, but there. The next one, I'm trying not to put the one on that I'm wearing, is Orchid. And it is more of your pink nudie color. Um, more pink than nude, I guess. But it has a cooler undertone. I have not worn this one yet. The next one is Raspberry Red. So, pretty much, it's red. It is a nice red. It, but it does... pull a bit pink. It looks pink there. It looks more red in person. And then the one I'm wearing on my lips is Fig. And this one is just a nice mauvey purple color. Doesn't show as well in there. These are matte but they're comfortable that makes sense they're not the liquid lipstick kind of matte they're comfortable and they last a long time they do not dry out your lips and they actually kind of feel almost powdery on your lips very nice and for $30 which is less than $10 a piece these are well worth it and I've actually been enjoying them. The first thing I'll start with of my extras that I picked up and this can be gotten anywhere so 
thought I'd throw it in like part way. Uh, this is the new CoverGirl palette and this is in the Jewels and it's in the True Naked palettes. As you know my favorite drugstore palette is the Rose Nudes and I also like the Naked True Nudes. I'm not a big fan of the Golden but I'm not a big fan of gold in general so that's probably why but I do find it a little bit patchier. <laughs> anyway these are all jewel tones and this makes me so happy because this means that the fall colors are going out and our beautiful jewel tones are coming in. I love the jewel tones. I have swatched these and I can tell you that they have the same smoothie consistency that my rose palette has which again makes me so happy this is just the first four colors this one is a matte and it is uh, I'd compare it to Makeup Geeks cupcake type color it's like a dusty rose but really soft it's great for transition color and then this is more of like a rose gold color and then look at that purple like that is some purple I've seen makeup companies or high-end can't get that purple so I have not tried these on my eyes and I understand you swatch them it's totally different but just from swatching them they're very similar to my roses palette so I believe that these are going to be wonderful on the eyes with them there is one color in here that I will say I was not impressed with when I swatched it and I think it's more Okay, so on the finger it looks great my hands a bit wet and that's probably why it may be one of those ones that you have to apply wet to get the payoff that you want and that's yes when I swatch this the first time on dry hand my hand is a bit wet because I just wiped it off this showed up with just like a clear with glitter so I wasn't impressed it's like a peridot color um, so it's gonna have to be one that I probably apply wet but the blue is beautiful the gold is just a nice sheer gold it's not yellow yellow gold I can wear this gold I can't wear that yellow yellow gold and then the black I don't know if the camera is picking it up it does have a slight shimmer in it but ever so slight so you could use it on your outer corner and it wouldn't be too bad so this palette was $13.99 if you haven't gotten it already I suggest you run out and get it I imagine it will be limited I'm just guessing that because it is jewel tones and when I went I asked her if they'd been out for a while she said no they just came out this week and there was only four palettes left in stock there so hurry out and get this if you are into jewel tones this is so worth it I paid $13.99 I'm not sure what these run for and other places but shoppers it was $13.99 the next item I got was I've got two foundations one is the Rimmel lasting finish 25 hours not that anybody ever wears their makeup that long and it's in 100 ivory I bought this because I've heard so many people talking about this on YouTube and I do like the Rimmel Stay Matte 
foundation, but I know a few people don't like it, so I thought, okay, I'll go and try the one that they do like. I have used this a couple times, as you can see, and I have to say, I do like it. I don't think it's as full coverage as the matte, but it does blend pretty easy. Um, I prefer blending it with a brush as opposed to a beauty blender. And I have a few foundations that are like that where I they just apply better with a brush. And the Rimmel was $13.49. So, not bad. I mean, I've paid more, I've paid less. <laughs> It's not bad. It's drugstore, and up here, drugstore is usually above ten dollars. The next foundation I got was a L'Oreal True Match, and this one is in C3. I was using C4 in the summer, but apparently, I have lost a lot of color because the last time I went to use it, it was really, it wasn't like super dark, but it wasn't the match that it was before so I just got a shade down and this is like $20 at shoppers and I'm sure it's cheaper at Walmart so the next time I get it I will get it at Walmart I think it was like $16.99 for it at Walmart <clears throat> the last thing I got actually I got other stuff but I can't tell about that the last thing that I got was my Joe Fresh primer. I have said this is my go-to drugstore primer. I was I'm almost out so I did pick up another one. This is $14 but worth every penny. I'm just saying my other primer that I love is $52 so $14 versus $52 I'll just keep repurchasing this and using my other primer for special occasions, I guess. So, that's everything in this Shoppers Drug Mart haul. I hope you've enjoyed it. I understand that the Quo products are Canadian only. I wish that they would send them through the states because I think a lot of people would really like these like maybe Ulta could try and make a deal with Shoppers Drug Mart for them they are awesome products just not your big palettes that have like 50 colors of eyeshadow those aren't worth it these are um, and I wish that they'd have Joe Fresh available in the states because most of the products in the Joe Fresh line are neutral. So if you were new to makeup in general, you could find nice neutral colors and you wouldn't break the bank trying them because, I mean, this is the most expensive item that they had there when I went, was this. They're, they have a mascara that was $12 and they have other mascaras that are ten dollars so you're looking at 16 anywhere from 16 to I think eight no six dollars for some of these products in Canada that's great drugstore pricing so I wish that they would bring them to the States because you could probably even get them cheaper It'd be like shopping for essence down there that's everything. I will keep you updated as to how I am liking the products and I will do an update video. I know I'm behind on doing update videos but things happen and I've done so many tags and so many collabs and it's just it's a snowball effect. But I remind you to go and check out the ladies of MAB. They are listed down below. See who is hosting the MAB giveaway for this two week period. Go to their video, their giveaway video, comment on it. Make sure you're subscribed to all the ladies of MAB and 
you must be 18 or older to enter it's open internationally and you must have your profile public so that we know that you are subscribed to us because if you aren't public and your name gets drawn it will not be announced that you are the winner because we need to know if you're subscribed to all of us there's very few rules so please just make your pu profile public that's everything for today i hope you have a wonderful wonderful day and much love bye for now